Hey folks, welcome back to Caves of Cud. So, um, we're gonna go north to the plains now, and I'm, I'm gonna see if I can take out some of these Equimaxes. That will be the plan for now. Okay, now two in one spot, which is always a little dangerous for my tastes. I think we might actually be... Yeah, 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 yeah that works. No, oh no, all of them are attacking. Let's see if we can actually take them out without dying. Yeah, we get some damage, but it's not too much of a problem. Okay, there's another one. And killed. Yeah, once you get rejoinder, you can pretty much tear through them. Okay. Let's kill that thing. Yep. Well, that's what I'm gonna do now, is I'm going to get, make my way through these plains, and maybe a bit through the desert canyons, and uh, take out the Aquamaxes. Which is... I always kind of feel horrible when I do that, but... Uh, that's a really efficient way to get a lot of experience early on. And uh, I am gonna make use of that. Maybe a better weapon would be good as well. To have at least carbide against those would be would be kind of nice, but um, it is actually okay. So yeah, let's see. Okay, so a bloody croc. This is going to be another rather short video, I think. Like 50 minutes because I need to do something, I need to go soon. I'm sorry, I'm just kind of... It's kind of a weird day today. A weird day for recording videos. Uh, but yeah. Okay, there is a irritable tortoise. Gonna kill that thing. Gonna attack the Equimaxis and make some friends. Okay, gained a level. Now we can actually get dual wield. And we have flurry and offhand strikes. bunch of angry dragonflies after us. Okay. 20 health is... I'm not too comfortable with that, so let's do a tactical retreat. Let's do this again. Killed. Joined it. Killed. The one annoying thing is that I can't right now rest because these assholes are around us. Let's just take those out. Okay. And let's rest up. Good. Good, good, good. Yeah, killing the Aquamax is always a fun thing to do. As I said before, this is sort of a... Once you get to that spot, you are kind of into it. You are kind of... You know? You know that you are strong enough to actually... To actu actually do some shit. <laughs> and, oh, there's another... There's actually another ruins here. Let's have a... Bit of a look. Let's... Stay careful, in case there's anything overly nasty. It's just a spitty, spitting slug. They spit acid, so we have to be careful about that. But, um, our main... Oh, there's a mortar thing. Hey, and there's a boss. So who are you? Admired by swine for providing shelter during a glass storm. Dear me. Disliked by equines for repeatedly beating them at dice. Interesting. Disliked by hermits for cooking them a rancid meal. 
All right, okay, that's that. So we will be even more disliked by swine after this. Okay, what do we have here? Copper nugget, leather moccasins, beaded bracelet, there we go. I mean, just in case we find a... Uh, just in case we find another caravan. Okay, there's some stuff going on there. I don't know what that was. Electrified carbide battle axe. Interesting. I don't know what was killed there, but... Uh, oh. Yeah, just in case we find a caravan, I want to have a lot of money, right? Because those caravans in the in the wild, they tend to be lucrative. Or well, not lucrative, but they often have some good shit. Um, no, I might actually go down here. How about that? So, let's do a map again. So, you go up here. Okay, this is a, oh, there's another turret. Can't really do much right now, because it's always shooting the wall. That was a musket turret, okay. Huh. Glow moth, snap jaws. Nothing too interesting, but maybe, maybe there might just be something cool here. So, uh, yeah, so we're doing our underground exploration in another spot than originally planned, but that's okay. Oh yeah, mirthworms. You will still get 35 experience from those, so that's good. And they are not as annoying as the earthworms, because those things are assholes, if you, as you have seen earlier this run. Okay, Rustician. Yeah, and you don't, you cannot butcher them as well. Oh, 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 slumbling. It was a salt hopper. Guess that guy did not wake up the slumbling. Raw boar meat. Okay. All right. Oh dear, Electrofuge. We're kind of doing well so far, but... Uh, what was that? Oh, it was just a bloody cave spider, okay. Thought it might be something interesting, but no. Just a bloody cave spider. Okay. All right. Uh, let's go south here first. One. South. Oh yeah, there's some stuff here. There's a metal folding chair. Maybe we can find some cool stuff there. Let's see. I killed something. I don't know what I killed. Because there was some zone loading stuff. Sometimes makes stuff easy, uh, hard to, or easy to miss, rather. There's also, again, this weird thing where the snap jaws all don't have anything, or don't drop anything. Sometimes I wonder why that is, or if that's intentional or not. Uh, that's a metal folding chair, I don't actually want that. Can we open this chest? Uh, no, this, um table you can oh, stumbling um, you can open these tables oh yeah there we go you can open these tables and put stuff inside but there's almost never something in it which is interesting That's ray cat I don't know what's the deal with those ray cats, actually. <clears throat> They're always trivially easy. 
but uh, I don't know what their purpose is. Maybe they are just flavor, flavorful stuff in this world, right? That hermit is fighting a dog. And what? I'm just gonna kill the hermit right now. Because this is a place where there's a slumberling around. And, uh. Hermits and slumberlings, you know? We've made some bad experiences with that. Okay. Which level are we? Level 11. So, yeah, we're going to get a general skill increase next time we level up. Which is good. That brings our ego up to 20 and our agility up to 30. That's fine. Toughness also up to 20, so... Gonna get a bunch of extra bonuses. He's still sleeping. There you are. You keep sleeping, please. That's a lot of slumberlings down here, so we need to be kind of careful. But what do we do? Okay. Let's go one more south, then. Three. Okay. Man, that's... <laughs> like the skunk... Fog... <laughs> whatever you might call that... Is actually pretty tough. It actually goes right through all of these... It actually goes right through... The shale. It just destroys it. Four, going around here. Let's see, what do we have? Just a bunch of dragonflies. Nothing too interesting. Oh, there's a bear. Still hoping that we might find some honey at some point. Okay, leveled up. Now we got a bunch of stuff. That's great. Um, I think I'm gonna save up for more dual wielding, actually. Like ambidexterity is, I think, the next one. Oopsie, slumbling. What is this? What is that? It's an iron buckler. Weird. It has a weird uh, sprite. I don't know what that's about, but, um, well. Still snap jaws with nothing. Yeah, they're just equipped with bite. They don't have anything. This guy had to beat a bracelet, though. So, that's at least something. A shotgun man. Shotgun shell, weird artifact. Well, let's see if we can... Uh, I broke it again. I'm not good at shotguns, apparently. Okay. Um, so far, so good. We are at four. Let's go one more down. Again, I'm making the map so that we don't get lost. And uh, I'm just going to explore a few of these underground maps, and at some point we're going to make our way back out. Because uh, at some point this kind of loses its luster. And um, then I think I'm going to do some... Desert canyons outside, and just some general exploring. And uh, and I'm gonna, I'm actually gonna do the. Whoopsie. 
I'm actually gonna do the rust wells because after this we got we get the jopper recoiler I think and that thing would be actually pretty useful to have especially if we do more underground stuff and so on just so that uh, if things get either dicey or we actually do get lost we can we have an easy way back to jopper All right, okay. Oops, there's another slumberling. There's at least one slumberling per map. And I think... The, oh, there's like two slumberlings per map. And there's a lot of shit in the vicinity of the slumberling, which is not something I'm stoked about. And what you... Oh fuck, this lumberling is awake! We're gonna go away. We're gonna leave this place. I think it fell back into hibernation. But, uh, you know what? I think that might be the coda to our under underground exploration for now. So, oops, no, this is the, the wrong way. Go left now. Oops, that was a slumberling. Let's get the raw bear meat. Yep. Let's go north. And then we just need to get go a few north and then we are at the stairs. Okay, so much for that. That was a bit of underground exploration. Um, I think I'm gonna just go into the desert canyons now. And, uh, yeah, we're gonna go for Rust Wells. At some point. Maybe we can actually find... I would actually enjoy finding a caravan somewhere, for example. You know? And sometimes you get these fun little areas in the desert canyons where you find Equimaxes. So we might actually get some decent experience on the way. That's a lot of cool stuff. Why am I burning? I don't know why I'm burning. I think the campfire set me on fire. I don't know what was that all about, but uh... <laughs> it was a horrible horrible accident. Yep, another beaded bracelet. That's good. Oh, 50 drams of fresh water. Okay. Yeah, let's just keep exploring the desert canyons for a bit. And, uh, yeah, another Equimax map, fantastic. So, I'm gonna collect some experience here. Just those dragonflies are so annoying. Okay. Okay. So maybe we can also find some, uh, what we could actually do, do wayfaring and wilderness law canyons. You know what? We're gonna get some level ups anyway, so why not? Let's do this. Don't know how much that actually does, but uh, you know, why not? Why not? Okay. Just the usual shit. There's something... there was something... Something exploded over there. I'm not sure what that was. 
Let's see. Oh. Oh. The nimble snapjaw fire snarler. It's you. Disliked by tortoises, hated by unshelled reptiles, admired by the consortium of fighter. Faithfully adapting one of their plays. Uh -huh. Okay. Well, you're gonna go down. Yes. Yes. Anything around here? No. Just a bunch of garbage. Should be careful about that steam here. Oh dear, it's still, it's still going on. What do we have here? Salamander. A lot of crap, mainly. Okay. Kill that thing. And let's keep going. Let's just travel through the canyons. Hope that we find some good maps. And, um... At some point, once we feel like it... Where are we actually? Yeah, okay. At some point, once we feel like it, we're actually north of Red Rock. Interesting. At some point, once we feel like it, we can make our way through to, uh... To the Rust Wells, you know. And do that. Yep. I think the, um... The, the chameleons are actually not hostile anymore because of us having got reputation from unshelled reptiles. I think that's a, exactly what that is. It's actually the chameleons. Which, I mean, it's okay, but not like this will, I guess, help us in any significant way. Okay. Nothing more going on here. It's kind of a boring area. There's not much going on. And there are some Equimaxes. Good. Alright. Alright. Yeah, we're getting closer to the next level up, actually. Hey, come here. Come here. Alright. So, yeah, I think the we will actually start getting diminishing returns from the Aquamaxes at level 15, I think. So, we can happily do this stuff until we reach level 15. We are 13, so oh, still more levels to go. Oops, nope. Um, rest. How much do we have? 170, yeah. Now we're gonna get there. Wait. I spent so much for wayfaring? Yes, I think I did. Huh. Okay. We're actually directly north of Red Rock. Oh, this is this is an Equimax area. Uh, come here, buddies. Okay, let's keep our health. Keep an eye on our health here. Okay. Take these guys out. And rest up. Ah, oh, you. Rest up. Good. Let's kill some more. Oh yeah. There are a lot of Equimaxes around. At some point you treat these almost like a resource, you know. Let's commodify <laughs> these guys. And that's sort of... I mean, that's generally uh, one of the insidious things that any experience system, any RPG experience system would actually do. It would just totally commodify these creatures. And killing these creatures is sort of commodified. In, uh, like there's a definite value attached to everything. 
in terms of the experience that you get from it. This is sort of that way. RPGs are pretty fucked up. I mean, you know. I generally don't mind that. Oh yeah, there are the planes again. Um, I generally don't mind that, but uh, sometimes I like thinking about that. Hey, Equimaxis. I think we've already been here. It's something we've already explored. But, uh, you know, there are some more Equimaxes around. Rest up. Okay. It's almost there. There's one more. Okay. Rest up. Yeah, we're almost about to level up again. Um, level 14. Yep. Hey, that was a sort of a... Yep. Okay. Alright, so... Uh, oh yeah, okay, this is a pig farm. There's a pig farm. There doesn't seem to be a farmer, interestingly enough. Or just pigs. Okay. Well, oh, there, there you are. Hello. Live and drink. Do you have water? No, you don't. But we still have enough stuff, don't we? Yeah, we kind of do. We kind of do. Okay. Let's try that thing. Where are we now? And we're going here again. We're talking about tortoises. After I've explored this map, I will end the video, by the way. Already running along again. And there we go. So, um, yeah. In the next video, we're going to keep doing what we're doing. Level up, leveling up some more, getting some stuff, finding some stuff, um, and then we're going to, at some point, make our way to the Rust Wells. What I'm still hoping here is to maybe find a caravan, maybe find some cool stuff. Uh, there are often these little snapjaw, like pens, dens, like these camps of snapjaws. And that is often kind of kind of cool, because uh, you tend to find carbide stuff there, and we do need some better weapons. That's definitely a priority. Um, but we're going to see. Yeah, see you again next time. Bye-bye.